uh, energy poverty or when we talk about access to modern energy, this is really a continuum. Uh, often people try to define it in absolute terms and one can define it in absolute terms. It's similar in a way to the concept of poverty. We have concepts of absolute poverty and relative poverty and I think energy poverty can be conceived of in a similar way. When we're talking about absolute energy poverty, it's lack of adequate and reliable and um, appropriate forms of energy at affordable prices to meet even basic needs like for cooking, for lighting, for purposes that we know are essential for living. On the other hand, you can have energy poverty even in the richest countries. I mean, often in, in countries like the UK and uh, in other developed countries, we have the concept of fuel poverty, which is often defined in terms of people not having adequate um, income to pay for um, heating that is necessary for thermal comfort. So basically when we're talking about energy poverty, I think you can go from you know absolute basic minimum services to also very um, high quality and good quality life and still being energy poor in relative terms. So again, when we're talking about energy access, it depends of course what types of energy you're talking about and also for what purposes. Uh, often the distinction is made between access to electricity, which of course provides many services, and then access to fuels for clean cooking and heating purposes for thermal needs basically. And then of course one can also talk about access to appropriate energy for productive fuses and for transport needs and so on and so forth. But when we're talking about basic access, we're talking about electricity and clean cooking fuels. And what we see is quite distinct patterns from the 70s onwards for these two different types of energies. So in terms of access to electricity, um, there has been relatively more success from the 70s. So between 70s and 90s there was still the growth of population exceeding the growth of new connections for most regions other than China. But since the 1990s for most regions that's the opposite case now other than sub-Saharan Africa where still the rate of population growth exceeds the rate of new electricity connections. However for the case of clean fuels for cooking and heating it's actually not so optimistic, the picture is not so optimistic. So basically the progress has been very limited and particularly in rural areas of developing countries we find that there has been almost no change in terms of the dependence on solid fuels for cooking and in fact the numbers of people depending on these fuels has risen over time. So actually it's a much, huge, much bigger challenge in terms of providing access to clean cooking fuels as compared to the problem of providing clean electricity, I'm um, fighting electricity access.